Thinking big isn't always the best approach. Sometimes, as Mike Stevens finds in the PhotoLink library, thinking small can be the way to go. We do get some grand big pictures here in the library. Lake Erie from Don Stark of West Milton, gone fishing. At day's end, a sunset. Daryl N. Scherer of New Media writes, they never get old, how true. And neither do the days that make us sit back and look up to drink in what we see. This is from Cynthia Rod of Catawissa. A storm visits on a warm summer afternoon and leaves in its wake an image painted in soft colors. Maryless Kipe of New Ringwald saw this and captured it. But this time, dear viewer, we will not think so large. Small is our goal. Small as in a widow skimmer dragonfly that stopped by Geraldine Reed's place for a visit. A beetle dropped in and found Carol Sisdick of Barnesville waiting with a camera. Some things don't drop in, they sort of grow on you, but they're lovely and interesting all the same. Sharon Fiorini of Scranton saw a wild berry. Or they pass by and decide on the moment that you have a handy place for a little snack. Brittany Kirshner of Berwick has such a place, and a visitor came in. Lexi Cole of East Strasburg sent an image of the perfect guest. Sits around, doesn't ask her much, doesn't say much, just wants a place to pause and rest. Of course, there are those who never quit working. If they're stopped, they're doing their work. Linda Bartlett of Middleburg sent one example. Summer is defined in any number of ways, but quite often it comes in small packages requiring a close look. Frank Saponsik of Shavertown saw one. Here's another from Mary Gabriel of Lake Walter, a swallowtailed butterfly, a thing of beauty indeed. And so too is this, a quiet moment after a summer storm, small and delicate. It comes from Sharon Fiorini of Scranton. See it? save it, send it on into the PhotoLink library, where we will see you the next time. I'm Mike Stevens.